hello guys welcome in tech jarvis in this video i'm gonna show you how you can root your galaxy device without installing any twrp recovery guys for this method it works only for the samsung devices do not try this in another device so first of all i'm gonna show you my device is galaxy j2 but go to settings and about phone and here is the model number as you can see my device is j2 10f which is running on android 6.0.1 and here samsung galaxy j2 10f so this matter is for only for samsung device so guys first of all you need to enable developer option so go to about phone and go to software info and here tap on build number five time to enable the developer option i am already a developer so go back back and here is the developer option open this and enable developer options enable oem unlock and enable usb debugging mode 2 now go back back and guys i'm gonna show you twrp recovery is installed on my phone or not so i'm gonna power off my phone and put my phone into recovery mode by pressing volume up home and power key simultaneously so i'm gonna press now wait So guys as you can see TWRP recovery is not installed it, it's uh, android recovery so i'm gonna ro reboot my phone and guys to root your phone without installing TWRP recovery you must have an pc so let's move to the pc screen so guys in pc open this folder and download these four files you can download these four files from the description box but guys in case of this file this is the firmware file you need to download this firmware file for your phone for example my phone is j2 i'm gonna search firmware for samsung j2 10f and hit enter and open this site firmwarefile.com and here scroll and countries india and click on get link again click on get link and guys download this file from mediafire which is about 1.33 mb guys different phone have the different firmware file size so you can download this firmware file from the from google so guys i already download this file i am not gonna download this again let's suppose if your phone is j3 and so search for firmware for samsung j320 fn and open firmwarefile.com and you can download this firmware from here so guys as you as you can see my i'm already download this file and after download this extract this file i already extract this so i'm gonna open this and here is the our extract extracted folders so go back and firstly you need to install this 7zip and click on open click on install now click on close and open this extracted folder and open this open firmware folder and click here and here 7 zip here the 7 zip and open this arch open archive and here copy this boot.img so copy click on copy to and click on ok and close this as you can see boot file is copied here so cut this file from here and go back back and paste this boot file here now our boot file is copied now you need to copy this boot file to the phone now we are ready to copy the file to the phone so connect your phone with the pc now my phone is connected so in pc copy this boot file and magic file copy this and paste these two files 
to the phone memory and click on paste now both the files are copied now it's time to move to the phone screen so guys you can disconnect your phone and open file manager and click on device storage and first you need to install this magic manager application now application is installed click on open guys as you can see magic is open first of all I'm gonna show you my phone is rooted or not with the help of root checker basic app and click on verify root sorry your device phone is not rooted it means my device is not rooted yet so again open magic manager guys make sure your phone is connected with internet so I'm gonna open my Wi-Fi now my phone is connected to the Wi-Fi network so click on install and allow and click on next click on select and patch file and select the boot file which we copied earlier from the PC and open click here now click on let's go and this process may take time it depend on your internet speed it's downloading some package from the internet so wait I'm gonna fast forward the video patching file is started so guys now our file is copied to download folder as you can see downloads magic patched so open file manager and device storage and download so yes as you can see here is the patched file created by the magic so you need to copy this file to the PC first of all you need to connect your phone guys, with the PC all, I'm gonna connect my phone with the PC now my phone is connected so let's move to the PC screen in PC open file manager and open your device click on phone and open download folder and copy this magic patched file and move this file to this folder guys first of all you need to extract this folder so I'm gonna extract this folder click to extract now folder is extracted open the tool now copy this magic patch file here file is copied you need to rename this file to boot only so rename this file to boot now we need to run this script image to tar.md5 so open this and wait now our file is converted into tar.md5 we need to flash this file with the help of Ordin. so I'm gonna put my phone into the downloading mode and connect my phone with the PC so I'm just disconnect my phone first and put my phone so power of my phone and I'm gonna put my phone into downloading mode by pressing volume down home key and power key simultaneously and press volume up to continue now connect your phone my phone is now connected so guys open this folder and here open this star tool and open this again and here open ordin for ordin and run the application as you can see my phone is added it's mean my phone is connected click on ap and select this boot.tar.md5 file and click on open as you can see I am ready to start flashing guys when I press a start button my phone is automatically boots up so I am gonna press start button now file is flashing and as you can see my phone is automatically boots and guys first boots may take time so be patient if you face any problem then comment in the comment section box and check the bonus part in the end of the video so guys as you can see the samsung logo here 
now I am gonna fast forward the video to make the video short. Guys my phone is successfully boots up as you can see. First of all I am gonna open magic manager. Guys first time it may take time so be patient. Yes as you can see magic manager is properly installed and which is latest 20.4 ramdex yes installed so i'm gonna show you my phone is rooted or not with the help of root checker basic app and click on verify root so congratulation root access is properly installed on the device so guys by this way you can root your device without installing any tidal warp recovery guys the bonus part of the video start from here guys if you face any problem after flashing the file or if your phone is goes into boot loop just follow this step so first of all put your phone into downloading mode i'm gonna power off my phone and put my phone in downloading mode and connect your phone with the pc now in pc open this folder again and firstly we need to delete these two files boot.tar.md5 and boot.mg.back now go back and copy this boot file this is the main firmware boot file this is the main firmware boot file so copy this and paste this file here and follow the same procedure open this script boot image to tar.md5 and now our boot dot boot is converted into boot dot out md5 so again open ordin and now my phone is connected as you can see so click on ap and select the boot dot out md5 guys this is the main firmware file so click on open and click on start and my phone is automatically boots up as you can see pass here now let's move to the phone screen guys first boots may take time so be patient i'm gonna fast forward the video i'm not pause any part of this video so my phone is boots up successfully if your phone goes into boot loop then you can follow this procedure and guys i'm gonna show you my phone is not rooted I lost the root access after flashing the main firmware file, firmware boot file. So I'm gonna press verify root. So guys, as you can see, I lost my root access. By this way, you can ins install Magic Manager and root your phone without installing any TWRP recovery. And and in worst case, if your phone goes into boot loop, you can follow this procedure. Guys, if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching Tech Jarvis.